All right, so we're just about to get started with the Battlefield Expo, and uh, we have our friend Chris from Sea Serpents Racks and uh, the Hot Box Incubator. So we've made a big board that we're gonna just get all of our friends to sign, and we're gonna have him be the first. So <laughs> he didn't know that this was happening. Cameo appearance. That's all you know. It's not awkward at all. <laughs> Perfect. Go. Hey, it's our first one. I'm here at Battlefield, as usual, right here. And I'm with Sam and Amanda. And where are you guys from? Uh, Montgomery County, Maryland. Maryland, all right. And uh, you guys have YouTube channels. Yep. So So Royal Flush Reptiles and SM Cubing. SM Cubing, it's Rubik's Cubing. Yeah. It's pretty cool. And they came in, they signed our board. We're having people sign. And uh, so what do you guys think about the show? It's a really awesome yeah. show. I mean, I haven't seen a venue like this in a while. And it's really nice to be able to see a venue that's got right next door it's, yeah. it's like centralized where people can actually visit yeah yeah i agree so the hotel next door is uh makes it very convenient for people yeah so when we do the show again you guys got to come out yep so, definitely thank you guys and uh what's your the best vendor you guys saw here um you know so many of them personally <laughs> yeah, yeah we know so many i'm of not them saying personally. anything <laughs> yeah no no it's okay you can say us it's fine <laughs> 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 I mean, you guys have free candy. Yeah, we you do, do have free you candy. You have the free candy. That puts you above everyone else. <laughs> yeah, so. All right. Well, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. All right. And we'll see you around, I'm sure. Yep. Castro from Castro's Constrictors. He's visiting the Battlefield Reptile Expo as well. And uh, so what do you think? It's a new show. I was excited to come out and see it. It's nice and big, it has room to grow. Elbow yeah. room is what I want. Like. Yeah, yeah. It's elbow room here. Nice aisles. You're not on top of everybody else. Like, yeah, for really sure. Cool. Yeah, awesome. And so what do you work with? I work with Arroyo. Arroyo, you heard really that? I'm yeah. really excited. <laughs> yeah. did Arroyo Pastel Granite this year. Yeah. Um, doing some Ultra Mel and uh, I love Ultra Mel. I got, a, a, got into the uh, Splatter Migraine uh, oh. of, of pl project, so oh, I'm really wow. excited about that. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I bought into that. That's my big project. Yeah, yeah, for sure. On. And uh, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you coming and visiting and signing our board. And I'm so glad I got out. to meet yeah. you guys, man. Thank you for this. this what awesome. social media? Yeah. Uh, I have Instagram. You know, I just started doing the social media. I feel like I'm really old. Now at 42, you know, and yeah, I just feel like I'm not that old, <laughs> and, and I, I just feel like it's like a learning curve that I'm not, I'm not jumping on too quickly. So my Instagram is growing. I just started doing it like this month, you know. I think I got like 50 followers, you know, something crazy. Well, make sure awesome. to link you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got I'll definitely hit you guys up. Yeah. All right, thanks, man. Cool. I appreciate Thank you. it. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think about the show so far? Phenomenal, I love it. 
great yeah. from a vendor standpoint, plenty of room for the people walking around. It is a lot of room, it is nice. It's like Hamburg's so tight in here, it's like oh, unbelievable. It's a breath of fresh air when it comes to Hamburg. Definitely, I love them both. So, I'll yeah, be back. Man. So this is Steve Winkler from Steve Winkler Reptiles. Gotta check them out. Yeah. Thank you, take care. Yeah. Mike from Osmond Reptiles. Hey, what's up? So, uh, how are you liking the show? Show's been great. It's a really good show. Had one of my best shows actually uh, since I've been doing shows over the last few years. So wow, that's awesome. It's been a great show. Yeah, man. We've been talking to a lot of people and they say it's uh, not as congested and it's great. So, um, so, what are you working on this year? What's your big passion? So, well, ball by this in general, yeah. <laughs> but um, I do a lot of stuff with GHI. Uh, I am trying to work a lot of new things into my clown project. I know everyone does clown, a lot of people do GHI. Yeah. But I'm trying to add different genes into them. Uh, but I'm always also looking for like the little thing that not a lot of people work with. Um, hidden gene woma, I think that's gonna be big. Yeah, um, we love hidden gene woma. Yeah, yeah. I, I really think it has potential to clown. That was my big Tinley pickup with yeah. the hidden gene woma. Orange Dream Yellow Belly Clown from uh, yeah. Mark Bailey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, I think you actually bought that out from under us. We actually were oh, really close to buying it. Okay. Yeah, we, I, we went I there with money. Laps, but. We went we went with money and we were like, wait, it's gone? Yeah, oh. he, he had some awesome ones there. But, we did uh, pick yeah. up a few from him. So. Um, but yeah, Tristripe is another one that I've been trying to work in over the last few years. Okay. It's my first visual this year. Um, I went in. Oh, oh good. I went in, you know, got the visual from TSK. That's how I started. Right. And I put, the first year he was breeding, which is two years ago, I put him to a super pastel and an eight ball. Yeah. I held back, you know, pastel head and a cinnamon head. They're both growing up. They're like 900 grams this year. So probably won't go this year, but next season I'll get them in the rotation. Uh, I picked up a sub-adult albino pet tri -stripe. It was actually possible pet, but I proved out to be head this year from Bloodlines is his business name. I can't think of his name right now. And I'm learning, just like everyone else with the projects, that some people weren't even sure if the different lines were compatible. But I bred the visual male to the albino poshet, and I produced one visual female, one of my holdbacks for the year, uh, and, and a bunch of... His, there's his uh, Instagram, yeah. so you guys can uh, see. Quick shout out, right? Yeah. Um, and a bunch of double heads. And unfortunately, that was the only girl that went from my male in the second year he was breeding. But this year, I, I have a lot of projects. Now, I think Recess is the way to go. Um, I saw a tri-stripe clown. I wasn't the most impressed, but I still am working that project. He's already locked up with a pastel clown this season. That's awesome. Um, I'm going to put him to some VPI Xanthic stuff. Uh, I have a calico female, a real dark calico female I'm going to put him to. Um, and I might actually try to get him into some orange dream projects as well. I have a, a dream bee female. I'm going back and forth what to do with her, but I may put that in because I feel like if you are on Facebook, check out the Desert Ghost Tri Stripe, the uh, Candy, oh, yeah. I think it's a Candy or Candino Tri Stripe, the um, someone I think did an Ultra Male Tri Stripe, and all those things are awesome. So that's why I figured, you know, uh, get some orange into the Tri Stripe might look cool. Even yeah. the Pastel and the Super Pastel Tri Stripe are pretty cool animals. Yeah. So uh, that's kind of where I'm, the direction I'm going. And uh, I've always been a fan of investing in pets. Mm -hmm. um, maybe I'm cheap, maybe I'm just a fan of investing nets, putting the time in. So I've been making a lot of double heads and it's kind of where I've been going with it. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Well, we're really excited to, uh, you know, see where that project goes. I think we're going to be getting into it soon. So uh, <laughs> we'll be reaching out for advice maybe. Yeah, absolutely. Hopefully I can give picking it. Picking up stuff, yeah. So thanks, man. Yep, I appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank All you. Right.
Ready? Man, the myth, the legend. Uh, <laughs> He's hey. a, another New Jersey guy right up the street from us, oddly enough. I'm not going to tell you where because it's Jersey. Yeah. But uh, glad to be here. Yeah, what do you uh, think of the show? Glad to be here, man. Uh, you know, anytime I get to do a reptile show, it's fun. I get to talk to a lot of people mm -hmm. that, um, that are, have the same passion I do. Yep. So, uh, or similar passion. Most of these folks have passions for ball pythons. Yep. I'm a carpet python guy. That's my That's passion. Right. But I've bred a lot of different types of animals over the last 40 plus years. Yeah. So uh, I got kind of stuck on carpet pythons. Works with my lifestyle. I'm always busy. So yeah. these animals are low maintenance. Um, but you got a lot of beauty in them. So, uh, and you got a decent size too. You get a six to eight foot animal. So yeah. it's, uh, it's, it's a little bit different than having a corn snake or a, you know, a pine snake or whatever. Right. So, uh, so I'm glad to be here because the uh, promoter of this show, Joe, um, asked me to do it months ago. And he's such a nice guy, I couldn't say no. Right. <laughs> so, so I think a, most of these vendors feel the same way about him. Yeah, he uh, is super nice. He's, he's done a first class show here. He fed us lunch, free lunch. That's the first time I've ever seen that. Um, and uh, I would gladly do it again. Uh, I even sold a snake so far, maybe more. But uh, yeah, yeah, glad to be here. That's awesome, man. Well, you have some really beautiful animals. Thank and, you. And uh, yeah, there's not a lot of carpet pythons here today. No. And, you know, maybe Joe will work on some of that diversity. But I think the more uh, people enjoy the show, I think the more vendors will come out. Some pretty cool guys here lately. Yes, definitely. So thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, you're welcome, anytime, homie. <laughs>
Yes, I am I'm turning my tubs upside down. So these are the tubs that uh, Limey was <laughs> telling everybody to come over here and flip them. Well, he's doing it. <laughs> Got him again. Uh, <laughs> see? <laughs> <laughs> so messed up. But Chris is here. Video. <laughs> I think those ones are ours. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Good here. Here, I got to turn them over now. See that? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs>